Sons of America, you're America's calling to you. Father of waters, let your sons and daughters echo the cry, thank God for freedom. Great silent palisades, take your stand for the red, white, and blue. North to the boundary and coast to coast. You're America's calling to you. Oh, say, have you seen your America? Have you seen the Swanee shore? Oh, say, have you seen America? From the plains of Idaho down to Mexico. Have you seen the seals of Iowa? Have you crossed the great Stand for the red, white, and blue. North to the boundary and coast to coast, you're America's calling to you. Yeah. 
Hi, my name is Wade from Wade's Comic Madness. I've been building my Captain America collection for about 20 years. So if you'd like to see any of it, come on in. This is only a, a, a replica of a Sentinels of Liter Liberty pin. Sentinels of Liberty was a club that you could join in the 40s, the Captain America fan club, but uh, this one came out in 1990 and is plastic. The original pins were made out of metal, and right now I think the cheapest of them goes uh, probably about $700. Some of them go up to about $2,500 since they're about 60-something years old. Does he have an artificial face, that Captain Action? That's right, yeah, he's the one that... Uh, Captain Action underneath. Ooh. <laughs> Doesn't look too much different, but he was the master of disguise. He could. Yeah. And if you live in a small apartment, Captain Action is a good toy for you. <laughs> That's right. You can only get storage. one. <laughs> uh, the well loved Mego guy. Yeah, the Mego. That's one of the most popular lines in action figures. This one obviously has been run through the mill, but it has the original. Boots and shield. Uh, now, he didn't come with gloves, did he? Uh, some versions did. Oh, they did? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one. They did a couple different head sculpts. So, this is the only thing, uh, reproduction star. Okay, there. I won't tell. <laughs> so, this Captain America figure is from the early 80s. That's one of the first figures that I had. Is that a uh, from Secret Wars? Secret Wars Captain America. As you can tell, the uh, paint has rubbed off due to excessive wear. <laughs> I guess aside from the Randy Bowen set there, this would be the rarest item that I have. It's a, a bronze-looking bust of Captain America, well, Steve Rogers in his army gear. And it's... Uh, yeah, it's signed and numbered by Randy Bowen uh, out of 60 pieces. And, uh, historically, this is an interesting piece for the character, just because um, he's not as Captain America, he's dressed as the captain there. Back in the mid-80s, Captain America quit uh, doing the superhero thing because the government wanted to do, you know, to control him and that. So he renounced the uh, American colored garb and but still kept the crime fighting going on. So this was still Steve Rogers but in a different outfit? Right. Okay. So he was just called the captain there. 
and another character took that over later called U.S. Agent, but that wasn't Steve Rogers. Uh, some of the better items, which I cannot get to right okay. now. Okay, well, I'll zoom in on it. For one, the uh, Alex Ross life-size bust. Uh, kind of eerie looking, the realism of it. Mm -hmm. But a uh, really nice piece. Alex Ross is a famous painter, and he sculpted that and did the design for that one. And then the, uh, the two bookend statues there. One of Captain America in his current garb, and the second one of the Golden Age version with that triangular shield from World War II. That uh, probably is my best item from the set. It's a signed and numbered set by the sculptor Randy Bowen. I think there was only 50 or 100 sets produced worldwide. Mm -hmm. The uh, other extreme would be some items. Uh, such as these. these are two of my favorite items produced in the uh, early 90s just for the sheer goofiness of them. You have the uh, Captain America sneaker snappers, which you can put on your shoelaces, or even better, the uh, Captain America head button biters, which you attach to your buttons on your collared shirts and apparently makes you super cool. So, these were made in 2001, and one of the buttons Oh. He can have a super villain beating action. <laughs> uh, this is from 1968, the Marx Corporation. Uh, oh. Walker? Yeah, it's just around. Well, he doesn't work that well on this type of area, but he spins around. <laughs> it's dizzy. Maybe that's when he's getting ready to throw a shield. <laughs> Get some uh, discus action there. <laughs> The Captain America airplane, which uh, <laughs> who knows when that came about. Uh, another favorite is the uh, Captain America monster truck. <laughs> that, I think that says a lot about uh, yeah. puts the America in. How Captain can you America. live without that? <laughs> I don't know if you got a, a shot of the shield, but that's okay. another one of the better items. A lot of people have been waiting a good number of years for a similar uh, item. Where that red skull come from, in the middle? Oh, uh, that one up no, there. No, right here, right here. Oh, uh, this guy. Yeah. That's part of the uh, Marvel famous covers line from oh, a couple okay. years ago. He's pretty mean looking. Yeah, uh, they didn't put the swastika on the armband. I guess they felt that wasn't appropriate. Mm. So he's just kind of part of a, a jumpsuit gang now. <laughs> I love that part. Yeah, this bust is of the new ultimate version of Captain America, but he bears a resemblance to the serial version, the fact that he doesn't have the uh, wings on his head. And, uh, his girlfriend in the serial was you know, the same character in the Ultimates version, uh, Gail Richards, I guess. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed any other influences of, uh, from the serial in any of the comics that maybe we wouldn't know about? That's I think his attitude uh, his demeanor has gone back to that where he was tougher, you know, no nonsense. Uh, he doesn't carry a gun, but mm -hmm. he's still, back in the 70s and 80s, they made him a little more uh, too nice for his own good, I think. He's always been dealing with terrorist organizations like AIM and HYDRA, uh, but they've always been goofy, you know, green and purple and yellow brightly colored costumes and not nowadays they have uh, they're allowed to deal with the more extreme elements of it they're not you know using laser guns and spaceships they're real yeah. terrorists all these things that you have bought mm -hmm. and collected for years and years right. they're prominently featured in your store right. and I know I noticed them when I came in the first time I said this guy's a prime Captain America collector and he's got a really nice collection you must be proud of it Sure. Can you put into words what it is you admire about Captain America? That's a good question. I think it is the character, like you said, not so much uh, his comic books. I think just because of the uh, what he stands for, not necessarily uh, the government in America, but you know the uh, ideals and always protecting the defenseless. Uh, his shield that he carries—it's not 
necessarily an offensive weapon. It mm -hmm. can be, but he's more into protecting. I think that's pretty cool. It's different than a lot of the other guys who, you know, just yeah. trying to kill everyone. Yeah. And it's not just America he's trying to protect, but anywhere in the world. All life is sacred, and he'll do what it takes to uh, protect them, I guess. Mm -hmm. so, so does he work for George Bush now or not? He's sanctioned by the U.S. government and his team, the Avengers. Mm -hmm. So they work with the U.S., but I wouldn't say that he's his lapdog or anything okay. like that. So he has a degree of independence. Definitely. As, as well he should, right? Correct. Okay. Well, I thank you, Wade, for taking sure. the time to show us at the Serial Squadron your fabulous collection. All right. Thanks and I wish you help. luck in your collection in the future, and I hope you enjoy the Captain America DVD, which is this soon. This is soon to be part of. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you.